Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank versus Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe P for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined ahead of his pro debut. Long awaited now. It should have been last month. George Lidard, how are you, George? I'm good, thanks, mate. I'm good. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited now. Can't wait. Can't wait. Just done your first professional press conference. How'd you find it? You know what? At first, I was looking, there's lights everywhere. But yeah, no, I, I enjoy all that. You know what I mean? It's good to be up there and it's good for my debut. You know, I can only get used to it. So it's perfect. It's perfect. You was meant to be on the Eubank Ben card and uh, a month, two months later, you're on another big, big card. Dillian White's come back against Jermaine Franklin. What's that like to get a big opportunity in a big arena for your first fight? You know, I'm really excited. I can't wait to have such a big opportunity to perform in front of so many people. It, it, all I can do is showcase my skills and I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it. All the hard work's been put in now, so it's time to enjoy. So you're 20 years old, is that right? So you're still young. Hungry in the game, been training under Kevin Mitchell and Tony Sims in that matchroom gym. What's that like to be surrounded by so many champions, fringe level contenders, but you've also now got the likes of yourself, Jordan Flynn, Maisie Rose, who are coming up that new young crop. The experience is incredible, you know, being around all these world level fighters, just, just high level fighters, all I can do is just learn from them and they've all got so much experience. Like, if I ever have questions, I go straight to them and they'll always answer me in the best way possible. And obviously having a new crop coming through now as well with the names like you said, it's good to have people in the same kind of situation as me breaking through to also speak to them and see how they're feeling, you know, coming up to these kind of things. So, but like I say, it's, I, I'm embracing it all and I, I really can't wait. I take it being in that gym, you're getting some higher level sparring, just to go through some of the names you've been in with in preparation for your first fight. Obviously, you've got Felix Cash, world-level middleweight. John Ryder, world-level super middleweight. Actually challenging for, a, I believe it's the WBO interim title soon. Um, you've got Craig Richards, who's also on this card, challenging for another title. Uh, been mixing it with him every week as well. Um, I'm trying to think. Mixed it with Connor a while back as well, before in preparation for the last fight. Uh, week in, week out, you know, world-level sparring. And, you know, couldn't ask for better. Couldn't ask for better. Just touch on John Ryder then. Uh, he's got his fight the same night as you. Massive fight against Zach Parker, as you said, for the WBO interim but super middleweight title. How do you think John's going to do? Come on, I've got to back my boy John. He's, honestly, he's a hard, hard worker, very hard worker, and I, I genuinely believe he's going to do it. So, genuinely. Looking good in the gym as well? Looking incredible. John, honestly, he's looking amazing at the minute. Very fast, very strong. Looking forward to seeing him get the win. Excellent. So back to you. What can we expect from you on Saturday night, style-wise? Uh, who do you kind of base yourself off of? I don't really base myself off of anyone in particular. Um, I watch all different styles, and I think I think I genuinely have a bit of every single style. Um, I've got fast hands, power in both hands. I, I think you can look for a very exciting performance. And I, honestly, when I say it's, it's going to be a good performance, I, I put in the work for this. For you know, obviously, meant to box in October. So I had a long camp for that. And then now even longer camp, I've been grafting, I've been grafting, and you're going to see all the work I've been putting in the gym. Yeah, it's come a little bit later than you wanted, but surely going into 2023, you're going to be wanting as much activity as possible? Definitely, definitely. Obviously, I'll take one fight at a time, but to stay as active as I can, that'd be perfect for me. Um, and just, yeah, just work my way up, build my way up, and, you know, fight by fight, I'm sure you'll see better and better me. Excellent. George, thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV today. Anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, lovely. Thanks very much for the interview, mate. Um, what I was going to say, I just want to say a big thanks to my sponsors who have helped me along the way, Contract Limited, Essex Cryo Wellness, and to everyone coming out to watch me and who are going to be watching me live on YouTube. Thank you very much. Cheers. Excellent. Best of luck on Saturday night. Thank you. Cheers. Sweet, yeah? Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank versus Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.